Okay. Good morning, everyone. I keep forgetting to turn the microphone back on. <laughs> uh, got a few non-runners this week. Uh, one, two, three, 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 yeah, three. Uh, I think that one was a non-runner. Yeah, engine trouble. So that that, that one's class as a non-runner as well. Hi, Eugene. No volume. I think I've put that on now, haven't I? I think I have. Okay, now. Yep. <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting that uh, as though when the trailers are going on, um, if the microphone's turned on before that comes up, then I get transmitted as well. And I could be cursing the kids or something like that. So <laughs> I always turn it off now when I uh, shut it down. So it comes on, shut down. And I keep forgetting to turn it back on. Just two motorbikes. That one's a Cat D. I don't know whether you can see it. Yeah, that one's a Cat D. Anybody know what Cat D is? There's Cat C, Cat D. Uh, so I know one of them isn't allowed back on the road. One of them's for parts only. And then, then another one is uh, they're, they're not allowed to go for parts. And another one is uh, they can go back on the road with the engineer. And I don't have got a clue what Cat what the cat system is. I haven't got a clue. And if you told me, I expect I'll forget by tomorrow. All right. Not an awful lot this week. There's uh, a few police vans again. Um, uh, the only one that I would go for, to be quite honest, uh, would be, uh, where was it? It was down a bit further. Uh, I think that daily wasn't, uh, that Iveco wasn't too bad. Uh, but 160,000, that's just about running. Uh, lot 114 for transit. Uh, touch it with a barge pole. Let me just get this other computer on the uh, thing as I know when it's live bit in. Watch live. So I know when it is going, yeah, they have set it up ready. Let's scroll that slowly. And then I know when they are, have started to uh, shout it out. And I have been mucking about with all the volumes on this, so I'll uh, I'll have to do it on the first uh, two or three cars. I've got all the, uh, the screens set up. They're all set up okay. Ah. Uh, yeah, that Iveco was quite quite. That one was uh, not too bad as well. Was it? Was there two? No, it was that one. I was a little bit. The two thousand and four. That that one's got hundred and sixty thousand on, and that one there's got hundred and sixty thousand on. But that one's a two thousand eleven. Uh, the Iveco before. Oh yeah, that one. Oh, that's the, the the guideline. I don't know whether I can see it. But no, the guideline. Let's move it above. The guideline for that one is only £520, and that's because I think it is a wrecker. It is a wrecker. So 114, 115, leave it alone. They are rough. Uh, but other than that, there, there isn't an awful lot in. There's a, a nice Mavaro there. But not Mavano. Let's just call it a Vauxhall, eh? Um, and that's... But the only trouble is that's got a cat C on it. So I think cat C is uh, it's repairable and back on the road. Uh, I think you've just got to repair it and put it back on the road. Uh, but by all accounts, you have to notify the insurance as well. I knew that it was a cat C and it, it gets loaded because of that. So I don't know. And then there's uh, about eight or nine, maybe ten uh, little vans. So all in all, there's not an awful lot this week. All those ambulances are going through next week. Uh, I did notice there's quite a few police vans back down the bottom. Um, there was quite a few police vans in the D-sticker room. So that, that um, let me see if I can get it up. Yeah, that, that beast. I don't know. Is is it is it a VR? What, is it, what did it say? It was a VR two, uh, a VR three or something. I don't know. Um, 
but it, it didn't look it's on a badge I can't quite see um, it didn't look quite bad it's privately owned and entered registered disabled got a wheelchair lift in it well that didn't look too bad nice nice seats although they are covers got sunroof got air con all the way through didn't look too bad yeah so the rust I saw on the other side I think is the tail end of the tail lift of, of the uh, wheelchair lift. there's just a few scratches and whatever uh, but that's, that's nothing to worry about there I think that's the end of the uh, tail lift of the uh, wheelchair lift so I don't know so that hasn't been looked after oh, it looks like there might be a bit of rust under the arches as well I didn't see that scratch yeah but uh, I, I it didn't look too bad and if it is the VR uh, I should imagine it's it's 2.8 well, I imagine it'll go like a bloody rocket uh, yeah it doesn't say whether it's auto or not it's got cruise control privately owned and entered never really noticed but well, um, medium medium roof uh, semi I transit there on a 13 plate but the guy, the guideline on hang on the guideline on that one they want four and a half for it it is a 2013 mind and it's only got 75,000 on the clock not too bad I, I don't know yeah by the time you put the indemnity which is going to be uh, seven and a half percent because uh, they haven't got that road down on that advert yeah I've seen well they haven't got it wrote down on any, any of the adverts they will have when it comes up I expect um, yeah 75,000 on a 2013 four and a half grand by the time they put the seven and seven percent uh, indemnity on there and then the VAT on the lot of it you're looking at five five two if it goes for that sort of money since relay relay wasn't too bad uh, only the small engine though, the 122 brake. Yeah. And that grafter, that, that grafter, I can't remember. I think he, did he have a few dents on him? I think he had a few rust spots down the trims, didn't he? But other than that, that that's all that's uh, in this week. It's those two, those two police vans there, they're, 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 they're going to uh, go quite well. And, well, the first, first three police vans they're going to go quite well they'll uh, they'll sell those because uh, uh, it with those it's just cosmetic cover-up I don't think there's an awful lot of damage to them well we still got uh, three minutes to go before 11 o'clock so I haven't been out today what's the weather like out there looking through the window it's quite overcast here so uh, I'm not going to get much solar today <coughs> yeah I had another two viewers last week they both bought vans um, went down to Brightwell's one on Thursday one on Friday quite pleased with them they, uh, they drove off no problems um, still didn't buy me a cup of tea though or a cup of coffee <laughs> uh, never mind but uh, that's how it goes. I wasn't. I I I wasn't well anyway. Uh, I went out because they uh, they contacted me. But uh, I mean, as soon as this is over, good morning, Steve. As soon as this uh, is over today, I should be back to bed. I expect. Uh, I just can't get warm. I'm old. Uh, my five-year-old granddaughter, because she lives here. Uh, she turned around and she said uh, how old are you granddad because my birthday in 10 days time and uh, no three weeks time sorry three weeks time um, she said how old are you granddad I said 27 and she says you can't be granddad I said why not she says you were 27 last year you gotta be 28 this year I am <laughs> uh, good morning 
So that's how a five-year-old's mind works. God, she's intelligent. She's reading books like there's no tomorrow. Uh, yeah, they are slow in starting today. And I, my get up and go has definitely got up and buggered off today. <sighs> Still got room for tea though. Look at it. <laughs> they said they'd buy me one with a, my picture on it. I'm hoping they meant that one. I'm not that one. Just before it starts, let's uh, just show you how I got you set up today. If you're, if you're on a tripod, I'm watching. Oh, camera just fell off. <laughs> As it does. Uh, watching it on that one. Running the program on that one. And the laptop uh, is uh, watching. I, I should be turning that over to the uh, the listing. That listing. So, uh, I know what their uh, sort of guideline price is. Now i got to try and get that tripod back in the same place. Better cut my head off now, and I. Yeah, cut my head off. <laughs> there. I ain't worried. If you ain't worried, I ain't worried. It's because the camera slid off. There. Let's see if we can get it back on there. Right. Yeah, you you do want to come around more than you there and there. Oh, now I've got to muck it all up again, haven't I? There, what's that like? Oh, that'll do. You can see me anyway. Good morning, Cliff. <laughs> morning, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, we, we're a little bit overcast here at the moment. Um, I thought all the west side was supposed to have been clear and sunny today, according to the weatherman on the TV. But, uh, I, I, we're, we're quite overcast. I should have showed you outside as well. But, uh, yeah. So uh, that's why I say I doubt if I'll get much solar today in the van. Oh, I don't know. I still get four amps on a cloudy day like this. Um, yesterday I, I did waddle down to the van and have a look, and uh, you know, I've got nine amps coming in. I must work out what that is in wattage. I can never work it out. On a cloudy day, I normally get three to four watts, amps, sorry. Normal cloudy day, three to four amps. And yesterday, I was getting nine amps plus. Uh, I, I haven't uh, worked it out. So there's three non-runner cars, one Cat D motorcycle. Uh, that one's privately owned and entered, a scooter. Uh, On-site, no VAT. On site, no VAT. Now these are uh, all three police cars. They've blown them up. I can't remember if it was uh, one of them drove past me whilst I was doing that filming yesterday. And uh, man, they were driving it and it was a uh, clack, 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 clack. And if that was me, I would have shot him. They should have towed that there. As a, as a, because it's classed as a non runner. Uh, uh, it doesn't say on there what uh, yeah, seven and a half percent indemnity. I thought it was seven percent, but uh, seven and a half percent indemnity. Uh, yeah, they are late in starting. It's four minutes past by me. Unless they have, and I haven't got a clue because I haven't heard anything go over. Let's just refresh that, just in case. Yeah. Oh. Check my volume on there. Yeah. So I know the volume's okay there. So I'll uh, move this one over to uh, be able to bid online. Uh, before. Bid online. Watch live. Now try and get that set back up. Although you can see everything and see the next lot coming in. There you go. There. 
Yeah, when I first turned it on, they were on 191 black car. Uh, right, now I can put that one back to the online list. Oh, come back. Yeah, feel free to talk amongst yourselves whilst I'm looking at this thing. There, got that one set up now. So I can see at a quick glance of what uh, the rough guideline is. Right then, good morning all, and Ooh. welcome to Brightwells. It's just past 11 o'clock, so we'll make a start. So, right, what's the volumes like? Is that uh, okay your end? Am I louder than her? Uh, there. That's how we normally have it, is the volumes are right about there. Yeah. The other thing I do like to do is stick to the same cup all day. It's a nice film inside. There. Yeah, the last two weeks I've nearly lost a stone. In bed, I just didn't bother getting up for dinner or tea or anything. Uh, I was hoping that the uh, microphone wasn't going to pick her up as much as it normally does. But looking at my little needle bouncing up and down on there, it looks like she is. The right down, right down one is. Because the right, where am I there? The right down one is my microphone, and that one is internet. Yep, meeting up with Gadget John on my birthday, April the twelfth. I'll put uh, settle uh, Yorkshire. Um, bloody long way for me. Um, my uh, Pratt Pratnev says it's about a four hour drive to get up there. Four and a half hour drive, so uh, I'm hoping that uh, I might go up there uh, after the next, uh, after the Tuesday on live online and I'll drive on up there. <coughs> so I'll go up Wednesday and I'll go up over Morecambe or go up the Lake District, I don't know yet. And then go back down to Settle after. So there might not be that week. Uh, there might not be a, a van lead up. There might not be a van lead up. Um, I've got to refresh this because it's not coming up with the bidding. That's it. Now we now we got the bidding. Right, yeah. I, I'm gonna say that 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 week, uh, the, the Monday after April the twelfth. What'll that be? Because I'll, I'll do the live from out of the van, like uh, April. Where's April? April. So it'll be the fifth April the fifteenth. There might not be a uh, a van view. Um, I'll do it all internet internet based wherever I'm parked up in the country. Yeah, because again on tenth of May, I think it's um, camp jerky weekend that uh, camper van tales have organised one as well. Um, because we all disagree with the prices they're charging and they don't want dogs um, the prices for the dogs so uh, we're going over to uh, well, somewhere in the Hope Valley I think it is and I think that's the 10th of May 
Oh, that inclusive? I didn't realise that. I, I'm a police car. That's not. Uh, that doesn't happen very often. I can tell. I can tell you this. Their guideline is eight and a half thousand on this for a non-runner. Oh, I don't think they're going to get that sort of money for it. Yeah, there's no campers or uh, caravans or anything like that. Motorhomes, none this week. I think it was this one that they drove past me and it was uh, clacking like a train. Oh no, that, no, it couldn't have been this one. It must have been the first one then. Because this says gearbox trouble. Guy going on that one, they want two and a half grand for it. Which are most probably, because there's after the four befores, then they go to the cars. They they because they do the vans. The car, um, leisure leisure first, which is campers. Then they go to the vans. Um, then they go to the four befores, and then the tail end is the uh, cars. This goes on until about four o'clock in the afternoon. It's a long day for whoever's up there talking. Yeah. So when when they say the plate's got to stay, that means that cat D can't be back, put back on the road, can it? But it can be used for parts. I think. Well, their guideline was only 12 on that one. <laughs> Only got 2,000 miles on the clock. Privately owned and entered. I, I, I used to have a motorbike. I never have another one. I, uh, I just didn't like getting dressed up for it. Scorching hot day, and you've got to wear all that kit. This wasn't too bad. Semi I front wheel drive one. Direct from the police, so it's one owner plus 35 million mad drivers. What's the guy going on that one then? 39 they want for that, 3,900. I can't understand why it's going for such a lot of money when there's engine trouble. This has got the typical VW Mercedes um, trim, trim rust. But other than that, it was uh, not too bad a condition. Well, I think this one's the five tonner, is it? I'm, I'm not sure how sprinters work. I think he's a five tonner. Guide, guideline is uh, three three. They want for that. Two, 
sold it at 2-6 and they wanted 3-3 uh, for it. I think they sometimes they just overprice the uh, the list on the, on the website just to make it look as if you've got a better bargain. But this has got the extended roof on it. It's got the ex extra higher bit on the top because that's normal. That's the normal line. So it's got that extra six inches, eight inches on the top. Guideline for this one is four thousand six hundred. But they're police vehicles, they normally let them go, they, uh, they use their own discretion. Oh, they didn't let that one go. Yeah, because I might put my uh, my van on the market and dang downgrade, come back down to a smaller van. I'll go for a... Um, I, I top long wheelbase transit and not the jumbo. I'm on my own with two dogs. I don't need all that space. <laughs> it's nice to have it, but the trouble is I keep filling it up. I don't know that I've made that one all around the living area I haven't I didn't take into account of uh, storing all my tools in it to take my tools with me they're all underneath the driver's side rear bed seat well they're in the shed at the moment but when I do go out I'd put them all underneath the seat all right, their guideline was 2.8 on that one. 2.3 on this one. I've gone and scrolled that screen again, haven't I? What did I say? 2-3 on this one. The Transit Custom that's coming up next. That, that's got the um, extended roof on it. And it didn't look too bad. There, there was hardly any dents or blemishes on it. They want 8 grand for that one. Mine is a 14 plate. I don't think it was in last week, it didn't sell last week, so... This is a 2007 on a 57 plate. It's not. Oh, oh. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. No, I just hate it when they do that. Direct company. It, it might be a trade-in. It might be ex-lease. Had 144,000 miles. Ain't too bad. Guy, guideline is six six. 
Rock sold, yeah. I didn't think he'd let it go for less than that. Roll number 89 will have been delivered from them. Roll number 89 out of the company in September 1362 pounds over £3.50 to double cap. I can't understand why they've missed that V-dub out. Because uh, that, uh, that VW had got um, cooker, sink, um, six speed box, and side windows. I can't understand why they've skipped him unless it wouldn't start. Crew cab pickups always fetch a lot of money. And it doesn't really matter what condition they're in either. Uh, 122,000 worth of the rock here. Yeah, 122,000 just about running. Now, remember, there's an engine there. You get the bloody van for a grand. <laughs> Didn't see this one. I, I don't think I saw it. I, I don't think it was out when I was there. I might have filmed it last week because it was out in the car park and not in the uh, compound. Have they got a guideline on that one? Where's the transit? Like four six, they want for it. This this had got VR on the grill. I don't know whether it is a VR or not. It is an S S reg. Whatever van I have, it has to have cruise control. I love that for cruise control. If anybody's got a Mark Six Transit camper, well, no matter what it is, um, I've got aftermarket cruise control in the box for one of those. I took it out. I I bought it to go in one of my. Uh, transit pickups and uh, I, I saved quarter of a tank of diesel um, on a full tank before I put it on there I was using a full tank to go from Hereford to Brighton and I was doing that regular for about three weeks and then I put the cruise control in the one weekend and I did it on three quarters of a tank of diesel I was well pleased with it. Ah. Three pickups again. What's the guy doing on those? Oh, wrong mouse. <laughs> 
1700 for the Viveco, 5500 for the Transit, and 6600 for the uh, Mercedes. What did they say they wanted for it? 17. So, they might let it go at that now. No, not sold. Whoa, this has been in three weeks running. They're definitely not budging on the reserve on that one. Uh, five five. Guideline of five five. Not sold. Yeah, didn't think so. I'm flicking the cat along. No, nope, that one's not going to sell either. Did I say they wanted the last six something, wasn't it? Six six. This was the one with the glass rack on the side of it. People just don't like buying them after they've had those uh, glass racks on them because there's holes all the way down the side of that van. And to get rid of a bolt hole in the side panel, you know, they can't very well put a black grommet in there because the next kid that goes past it's going to drag that grommet out. Here's a rusty example. There you go. It's done some work this thing has. It has been abused. And all, all the security locks on it. God knows what they were carrying in it. Five hundred is the guideline on the internet. Oh. I mean you can buy that. There's an engine there. It would cost you a thousand pound if you went to try and find somebody with a second hand engine. And you've got the whole lot, you've got the lot for that sort of money. Not sold. Why didn't they let it go? They've got a guideline on there of 500 quid. Oh no, uh, that was the uh, Iveco, is, that's the next one after this one. They wanted 13 for that uh, rusty transit. Yeah, this 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 one they want five twenty four. Can't stand up in it. Oh, yeah, March twenty two thousand twenty twenty twenty. Not sold. This thing didn't look too bad. This looked quite quite good, in fact. If anything, this is about uh, any of those first three police vans or this one.
25 quid to get a logbook off uh, DVLA. Three thousand nine hundred. Oh, chocolate cake. Um, that stone I've lost, I'm putting back on slowly. Oh, that's a good price for that sort of van. Oh, I didn't let it go. Next week, those ambulances were going through, and uh, there was quite a few police fans already de-stickered, and the de-sticker room was full of uh, police police vans being de-stickered. So uh, there might be a, a big influx next week. for the tax um, uh, my insurance I think is just under the 200 quid mark might be less than that I can't remember uh, and an MOT is what 60 quid nowadays for a well it's still a car MOT so I don't know what a car MOT is I don't know I've allowed 60 quid for it But one has got a hole coming the rear sill, so I will be doing a video on that pretty soon when it warms up. <laughs> She'll make her mind up. Six four, 
2015 on a 56, so it's late 2015. And this one had got uh, all the front uh, passenger wing stoved in. Few marks around the back. This is, I don't think the door closed prop the side in door closed properly. Cat C damaged. So is that dent in that wing classed as the uh, cat the damage to make it a cat C? Have they made a claim on it? Because that's no damage. I mean, it's obvious it's hit the wheel as well, so there might be wishbone trouble. What's the road going on that one there? They want uh, 2,175 for it. Yeah. These two little uh, transit connects, they, they, they look quite tidy. I think they had twin side loading doors. If they were another two foot longer, then I would have said that they are uh, okay for a little weekend camper. But they're not very economical. Quite powerful with a, a 90 PS motor in it. Because I mean 90s, they put in the transit. And that's a far bigger van. Only 40,000, well, 41,000 on this one. Three thousand five hundred. They want on that one. See that extra year. Last one sold for four grand. Well, that's good enough. Made a difference of 800 quid for an extra year. Plus one owner. Ford Fiesta derived vans. 
doesn't take a lot to put those back into a Fiesta, in, into a car. Then you've got to pay the tax on it then, I think, at this age. Is it five years? Ex leasing company. Oh, her voice is broken again. Two four, two four, I don't know what the guy done. They're looking for those. Two, six, two, six, well, they've only got two and a half thousand on them. Yeah. Sold. Yeah, both. This this one they want two six four. The last one was two seven five. Two five seven five. Oh, they both fetch the same money. Lot number 147, from the leasing company again, September 15, 65 pay, through at Dublin, one through Mighty Jet, 43,000 miles on the clock, two hours on the book, service for 20,000 miles according to this, and they're 229 for I just don't like the look of them, they're gross little van. No VAT, that's prepared. It's a little bonus, isn't it? Here we go. I can put it on if you like. Right, what's these? Oh. Three. Three thousand eight hundred. They want for it. Four, three, five, six, seven, three, seven, three, seven, three, seven. Oh, and Novat. Wow. Three, seven, Oh, provisional. They got it down as guideline. Of 2 9. Yeah, thank you. Just up to the doorway. Uh, June 14 on the 14 day box of combo van. Oh, that's because I was looking at the wrong one. 3 8 they want it as a guideline. Smoking. Smoking the third, no VAT, and 1500 I've got. 1500 pounder, 1500, 1600. 1700 only at 1700, 1700, 1700, 1700, anywhere else, 1700, 1700, over there, last call, over in at 1700, that'll have to stay. Not old. 149, September 9th, right. one more van after this one, and that's it. And I've got a question to ask. <laughs> 1500, 1500 I've got here, 1500 big 1600, 1700, 1700, 18, 19, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3 over here, 2300, 2, 3, 2, 3 over, yeah, they wanted, uh, well, what was the guideline, the guideline, yeah, it was 3825 on the uh, internet, 115, February 
Alright. I can turn my volume down now. 171 from the Harris Group, September 03 on the 53 day. Right. Is the. Uh, can you remember what police VW Craft are made? Mm, no. No. Don't even know what day it is. If it wasn't for the fact that the daughter got me up, I wouldn't have been here. <laughs> um, what was the question? Oh yeah, the question. Um, I've always transmitted. <laughs> I've always transmitted in uh, 60 frames per second, and this this week I've dropped it down because I've always used to have the light flashing at the top, saying about uh, the uh, uh, the quality. Um, and I'm transmitting now on 30 frames per second. Is it the, the quality of the video okay, or do I increase it again for next week? That's the question I wanted to ask. So, if anybody can let me know. Uh. I didn't get up until nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, the daughter woke, woke me up at eight o'clock, uh, well, quarter eight, and I came came down to walk into my kitchen, just in my boxer shorts, to find the ex-wife sat there. I didn't hear her come in. Frightened me to bloody death. I had to run all the way back upstairs. <laughs> She hates it when I call her the ex-wife. Been divorced 35 years. I keep saying I don't want another wife. Well, I do, but it has to belong to somebody else so I can give it back. <laughs> oh. Where's she gone? Is she gone far enough away, mate? That's the thing. <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, no, you didn't explain that. <laughs> I remember not long after I got married, uh, she said to me the one day, she said, uh, you think more of that car and that van than you do of me. She said, I'm giving you ultimatum. It's the car or me. And I uh, sort of went, hmm. And I said, come on then, I'll help you pack. <laughs> she never, ever argued again after that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they got a um, ex MOD military sale. Um, I can't remember when the date was. Um, at their other depot at Madley. And I think it's majority of it is trailers, ammo boxes, things like that. Um, where was it? Uh, I'll see if I can find it again. Um, 
I don't know whether I can find it again. Yeah, they, they got um, two cherished number plate sales, one on the 38, 28th of March, because they do all different sales all over the country. It's not just vans and 4x4s they sell. Um, they're mainly uh, 4x4 sales. Uh, there's two timed auctions on uh, cherished number plates. Uh, that's the one where what date is that one that must be on the I don't know they haven't got a date down on that but they got a timed auction for MOD home office and DEFRA auction um, at Madley depot which from here it well, it's in it's just outside Hereford it is about five miles outside of Hereford that's worth a look on their internet. Um, yeah, the next the next one is the second of April. The next uh, four before van sale. Twelfth uh, of twelfth of April, which is my birthday. Twenty seven. Um, they've got. Uh, Another live web webcast for plant and machinery and HGV. Um, that's all sort of council utility things and everything. That's based at Madley Depot as well. On this website, um, they tend to only advertise our local branches. So they got um, they got depot in Bister, or is it Bicester? I can't remember. Um, Madley, Her uh, Lemster. They got one in Hereford. They got a cattle market in Hereford, so they do cattle. Uh, they got a cattle market in Shrewsbury. They got depots all over the country. <laughs> Have I gone deaf? It's gone ever so quiet. There, I'll be back. Yeah, so. Where's my mouse gone? He keeps going to sleep. Yeah, I've already looked. I don't think there's any military Land Rovers here this week again. Uh, home. Come on. Move. Uh, 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 that one. Catalog. I didn't see any of them. Lot number 181, Juno 3 on the A3 plate, Defender 90, County Hardtech 2D5, Camp Warren and Miles. Nope, there's no military Land Rovers again this week. I know a few of you stopped for the military Land Rovers. No, uh, there's not. Loads of cars towards the end. Loads of them. Majority of them are ex-police. Well, ex-police and paramedics. Yeah. So there's no military Land Rovers this week. You can see why they call it the 4 before auction because uh, they do fetch bloody good money. Bloody big money too. On the registry on the register category due for damage, no VAT. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
3,400 at 34, 3,400 last lift, 34, 3, 4, then away at 3, 4, not sold. Lot number two not is sold. Is the high Lex Cadillac Cab. Lot 148,000 warranted on the clock. Eight services recorded. No red book at the moment for terms that will send it on. MO2 December. Plus the blue A2 and 1,000 I've got. 1,200 I'm bored. 1,400. 1,600 or 1,800. 1,800. 2,000. 2,000 I buy it. 2,000 I return. 2,000 only. 2,000 I two tools seated. Two tools seated. Two two. 2,000 turned now at two two. Two two. Two three. Two four. Two four the now at 2,005. Six. Two six nine two thousand six hundred two six last call sold and it's two seven two seven. Yeah, I I don't know where they get their stuff from there. Um like Brightwells is contracted to them to uh, also store military vehicles. That's why they create if I go in there. Um because they uh, store store some pretty high tech attack in there and uh, it goes it goes on, on to somewhere else then. Lot number two O three. They they must uh, I mean they're they're modern Ministry of Defence. Um fifty seven thousand You know, they got depots all over the country, haven't they? So I doubt if they get them all get everything for uh bright wells. Yes, three five four, three five dot, three five four, three five one owner, three five, three five then only at three six seven, three seven, three seven now at three seven, three thousand seven hundred now at three seven, three seven, three thousand seven hundred last call, three seven, three thousand you bid it, three eight, three thousand eight hundred now at three eight, out here, three eight, three thousand eight. You reckon oh right, right. But there's nine three nine. It's a bit like an auction, isn't it? Three nine now at three nine. Three thousand nine hundred. Three nine. Three nine and I know we've got a big um British Telecom uh depot in it, just just this side of Hereford. And uh, I have seen the queuing vans up when they replace them. But they don't get sold locally here. Usually BT um you know, they go to their job. I was after pickups mainly. I wanted crew cab pickup, in fact. And uh, they, they shipped them all off. And I, I went in there several times and they uh, they created because I shouldn't go there and ask. So. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling it a day. It's 12 o'clock. I've been transmitting for an hour and a quarter. So, I'm going to call it a day. It was nice to have you all on board. So, don't forget, just below there, there's a little button that says like. And if you haven't yet, where, where's my finger? Uh, if you haven't yet, um, please like and subscribe. It does help. Um, whether it's like or dislike, it doesn't make any difference. In fact, I think uh, uh, they both get the same result. So, thanks, RG. Um, no problem. Um, but uh, hey, yeah. next week, next week, the same as normal. I'll do a, a van thing on uh, Monday. And I think it's the following, is it the following week after that? I can't remember. Uh, I'm off up to uh, North Yorkshire. Let's have a look. I've got the calendar out now. 26th of day. Uh, yes, next week I'll be here. The following week. Uh, yeah, it, it, I'll be doing next week's and the week after, but not the 15th. And I'll, I'll do it on the 16th if I've got internet connection wherever I am. Well, I've got 15 gig of data on my uh, phone plan anyway, so uh, we'll probably do it from off that and run it like I am now. And in fact, uh, I won't be able to run this program uh, as... Uh, oh, I can because i got the TV in the van. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, still owe me a bacon butty. <laughs> yeah, didn't buy me a cup of coffee. I, well, I already had my cup of coffee when I got there. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a shout because I, I do go down to Yates every now and then. Because um, uh, Bris Bristol, because you are this side as well, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, I'll get down that this way, that way this year. Um, I usually like doing uh, all the way down Barnstable on down. I like going down that way. Uh, I've got quite a few spots down there. I've got the keys to the Forestry Commission gates, so I can get up on the. Uh, uh, they they've ended that, not me. Oh, they got it back. Uh, now it'll play up. Thank God it's not in the vans. Right then, I'm going then. I'll uh, see you all next week. So, have fun. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.